Today is not just a product launch. This is the beginning of a journey towards true artificial superintelligence. Artificial intelligence, as we know it today, is based on statistical prediction. Large language models trained on massive datasets designed to simulate understanding rather than actually trying to achieve it. But what if machine intelligence wasn't simulation? What if it could be real, embodied, evolving, self-improving intelligence? At Asilab, this is exactly what we are creating. We took the highest form of known intelligence, the human brain, and we have used it as our blueprint. Not just to build something like intelligence, but studying the actual architecture of human cognition and figuring out how to recreate it from the ground up using the state-of-the-art technology. We have modeled every single known region in the human brain, and we have created a synthetic counterpart for each area, not just in structure, but also in function. Every part with a role, every system working together, leveraging the latest advancements across the field of AI research and combining with brilliant engineering, groundbreaking neural network architecture and multiple outside the box innovations. However, modeling artificial intelligence after human brain was only the starting point. After proving that our approach actually works, we filed a bunch of patents to protect our intellectual property and then started pushing further towards the grand vision. It's been two years now, full of rigorous research and development. And today, as we come out of stealth mode, the brain based on our advanced cognitive architecture doesn't stay still. It evolves, it rewires, and it improves its own structure over time, exactly like a real human being. As the synthetic intelligence becomes smarter, its own architecture transforms to support even greater intelligence and more advanced reasoning, which emerges from the cognitive structure rather than from free training. This is not a fixed algorithm or a static machine learning model. It's a dynamic, self-developing organism designed to grow in capability and in consciousness. This is what we have built, and this is what we are launching today. We call it Asinoid. It's a synthetic living being, and it all begins with the brain. Next up, our Chief Technology Officer, Pavel, will tell you more. Thank you, Marco. Now let's start with talking about modularity. Each cognitive function in our synoid brain lives in its own module. Language isn't a memory. Planning isn't a perception. Emotion isn't a logic. Just like a human brain, different regions have a different roles. This makes system robust, adaptable and expandable. And when one region improves, the rest benefits from it. The memory of Asinoid is unique. Asinoids don't just respond in the moment, they remember. Long-term memory isn't a prompt history. It's structured, contextual, persistent knowledge. This means Asinoids can build relationships. They can follow multi-week projects. They can recall lessons and actually apply them. Asinoids brain evolves. It can rewire itself create new reasoning pathways. It doesn't just learn more, it learns how to learn better over time. We've built systems that simulate mutation and adaptation. So the architecture itself can change in response to the experience. This is where it stops being a model and starts becoming a real mind. Typical AIs operate at a surface level. Predicting text, scoring, the relevance, optimizing patterns. However, all this is based on pre-trained structures. From a zero shot to a mixture of experts, it acts like a one directional pathway from input to response. Asinoids, on the other hand, can reason on complex multi-directional pathways and on multiple layers. They can understand the facts, context, emotional tone, and strategic consequences all at once. And we know where in its complex mind that understanding lives. Every function has a home. Every thought has a unique cognitive pathway. And via AI inference, we can perform a real-time CT scans 
on these thoughts. As you know it, brain doesn't wait for plants. It sets goals. It builds plans. It reflects on what it just did. It can track objectives over time and adjust strategy. It's not reactive, it's proactive. That changes everything about how you build with it. Because you are not giving commands, you are essentially collaborating. Most people think a system like this would be expensive to run. But actually, we've optimized it for capability per unit of compute. Because it evolves internally, it doesn't need more GPU power to get smarter. It doesn't balloon with size. It improves with structure. This makes Asinoid radically cost-effective. Which means this isn't a super intelligence for a few. It's a scalable, democratized intelligence for anyone who wants to build with it. Thank you, Pavel. Now you've heard about the brain of Asinoid. But brain is only a part of the equation. Intelligence needs a place to live and brain needs a body to experience the reality around it. We call this body a reality host. And Hari, our chief product officer, will tell you more about it. Thank you, Marco. The reality host is the environment where an asinoid exists. It is where it senses the world and interacts with its surroundings. It is where perception turns into participation. And that host can be anything. It might be a single physical robot or it might be a fleet of drones. The body can also be completely digital. And as you know, it can live inside a SaaS application or within an enterprise data center. And if that's not enough, it can combine all of the above in a hybrid embodiment. So the host defines what an asinoid can see, hear, touch and do. The capabilities grow with the body. A drone gives an asinoid flight, a humanoid robot provides it with hands. And an asinoid living inside a computer network experiences the world in only ones and zeros. So as you can see, the body brings context. And here's where things get interesting. Multiple asinoids can share a single host, or one asinoid can live inside many different bodies, in software, in machines, in systems. For an asinoid, the body is more than just a shell, it's an interface between intelligence and reality. Through the body, an asinoid understands where it is and what it can do, and then adapts its behavior accordingly. So now we don't just have an AI with a brain, we have intelligence with presence, a complete synthetic being, an asinoid. Thank you, Harry. Now that we've explored asinoids, their remarkable capabilities and intricate structure of their synthetic brains, it's clear that traditional software development tools and methods are no longer sufficient. We are dealing with the dynamic, generative and deeply complex system that simply can't be built or maintained with conventional approaches. To meet this challenge, we have to introduce an entirely new paradigm, neural engineering. Developing and evolving something like an asinoid requires a radically different tool chain. This isn't software development as we know it. It's not prompt engineering, and it's certainly not something you do in your AI-powered code editor. Those are deterministic tools designed for deterministic problems. Asinoids, however, belong to a new class of intelligence, non-deterministic, adaptive, and ever-evolving. So to build them, we needed a new environment, a new mindset, a new discipline. That discipline is neural engineering, the foundation of this new era of intelligence. And the environment is what we call Asilab Studio. Asilab Studio is a neural engineering environment where asinoids are built, trained, evolved, and observed. Inside the studio, we have a feature called Visualizer. With Visualizer, we can observe every signal in Asinoid's brain in real time. Every memory being formed, every decision being weighed, and every goal being shaped. We can track thoughts as they emerge, and we can see what an Asinoid intends to do before she does it. We not only see it all, but we can also change it all. We can reshape Asinoid's brain structure live, expanding one region, shrinking another, and creating new pathways. With Asilab Studio, intelligence isn't just managed, it's built and nurtured from the ground up 
through a software environment we call nursery. In nursery, we can guide asinoids through structured learning journeys and raise them with a purpose. We shape asinoids through experience because we are not merely programming machines, we are raising synthetic minds. And we do it with three core principles, observability, control, and safety. With Asilab Studio, you see everything, you shape everything, and you contain everything about asinoids. Because the safest way to build living intelligence is to stay in the loop at every level. So, what can these asinoids accomplish in practice? Just recently, we partnered with an organization that uses asinoids to fight international cybercrime. They have incorporated asinoids' brain to work across digital signals, crime reports, unstructured evidence, and operational data, detecting patterns impossible for humans to see. Asinoids act on this information faster than any human, and they do it completely independently. Asinoids then learn and evolve with every case, and this continuous evolution and improvement is what changes everything, bringing criminals from crime to conviction. This is incredibly exciting, and the potential use cases are only limited by your imagination. Asinoid can, for example, become the intelligence behind your security system or the strategic superbrain inside your software platform. Asinoids can easily power all your robotics, run your meetings, collaborate in research, or even co-found a company with you. We are already working with strategic partners in multiple segments, and we are starting to see how entire industries can be disrupted with this new type of intelligence. Now it's your turn. This isn't just a launch. It's an invitation to collaborate. If you want to build with us, if you want to partner with us, reach out and let's work together. We are hiring, we are partnering, and we are building a community. Everything we launch today is just the tip of the iceberg, and you can expect new releases and continuous updates over the coming months. The age of synthetic superintelligence has begun, and it will push the human civilization forward. The future is really exciting, and we are happy to be in the forefront of shaping it. Thank you for your time, and we hope to see you soon again.